guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be checking in on my depth snowball plan update we're gonna see where i'm at with my dab because i didn't do it last month so i super apologize for that so i'm not even gonna stress on that i'm just gonna go ahead and do it for september because i wanted to see where i was at and guys also if you have not hit that subscribe button please make sure to click on that subscribe button and then click on that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my budget videos and also my planning videos all right guys so if you want to see how much i have paid off and where i'm at with my debt plan please stay tuned all right so i am going to be using my debt snowball plan worksheet all right and i did show you guys this sheet in my budget setup and i will link it up top for you here so that you can watch that video of my um, September budget setup so you can see how I fill this out. All of my payments haven't come in, but I just want to do like a check-in to make sure that I am focused and I am on point. All right, so what I'm going to do is slide this over to the side. And I'm going to show you guys the sheet that I did last time to kind of see where I was tracking. This is what I did last. If you remember this one, um, I will link the video up top here for you um so this is where i did a check-in i did where i was on february so i had these cards in february so then i did kind of like a little workout sheet here so then i did this one in july but i didn't do one in august i know boo <laughs> all right so this is where i was in july so what i'm going to do is go ahead and do where i'm at for september so i'm going to go ahead and do a workout like i did on this sheet right, so let's go ahead and just do this workout sheet right here and then we'll come back to this step snowball plan. let's just go ahead and grab this sheet here and we're gonna go ahead and do our figures because our figures are not going to be the same as july all right so what we're going to do is our mint learners because i like to make my little sheet pretty all right so we're going to do let's do purple got these everywhere all right, so we're going to do this for September. All right. Then we are going to come with a little squiggly. Bow. All right. So then we're just going to... I don't know why I like to like just right inside of the spots where I mouth lined it. So, I don't know. I just do that anyway. It just makes me happy. Woo. Okay, so now we're going to start off with the bill, and then we're going to start off with how much is left on the bill. So, I always like to include the ones that I also paid off. It's just a monumental thing, so I'm going to write that again. So, we had Home Depot. Is it Depot or Depot? I don't know. People say it different all the time. Okay, so that one's paid off. And I forgot to do 2020. Don't forget that, Tina. All right, let's put this to the side here. All right. So then we have Walmart. Okay, and then that is paid off. All right. So then we have Chase. All right, and then that one is paid off. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, and then um, next we are doing Capital One or this one should be paid off this month for September. And I do have two of these cards and the balance was 727.87, which you see here. Now this one is a little bit different um, because I did make more payments on this one because I got these totals at the beginning of September, but I have made some payments on those. So, um, so this one was is $280, which is awesome. I'm super excited because I should be able to get this paid off by the end of this month. Okay, so the next one is my Capital One card. And that balance, as you can see here, it says is $1372.27. But the actual balance is, because I got this at the beginning of the month. So the actual balance, because with interest rate, and I know one of my subscribers did say sure that, that you account for the interest rate. And this is where I need to take account of the interest rate. So this is why it's different. So the number here, which I got before the interest rate hit was 1372.27. So the actual amount is 1385.07. So that's how much I have left on that card. Okay, so the next card that I'm going to do is um, my Target card. And this one just, I don't know. 
just like it does not move at all it's like it just sits there and it's I don't know it's just crazy all right so the next one we have is Target so that one was two thousand one hundred thirty five dollars and one cent and like you said um, this was $2,126.58. You have to take account of the interest rate. And I didn't use, in these cards, I haven't put anything else on them. So as you can see how the interest rate can screw you over, not screw you over, but it doesn't help you at all, you know? All right, so Target. So the balance that I have now with my Target is, and this is after the payment. So this is $2,065.01. So that is where we're sitting at right now for the balance. So when I do this at the end of the month, this will all come together. All right, so that's how much I have left on there. And then we have Discover, which this one right here does not go down either. So Discover, um, my balance in July was $2,734.83. When I checked it, my balance was two thousand seven hundred fifty five dollars and one cents and my balance now for discover is because like i said i made i've made payments so two thousand seven hundred one dollars and one cent that's what my balance is now so this will be with the payments and i have to take in consideration of what the interest rate is so i think what i'm going to do guys i'm going to fill this out at the end of the month um, so that I can make sure that I get everything pretty much accurate. I was going to do halfway, but I think I'm actually going to fill this out at the end of the month. And then I'll just do a video to show you guys, uh, where my progress is. But I think this will be good to show you guys where I'm at now. And you can see like the progress of what I've paid off. All right. And then the next one is Wells credit card. And this one right here, I don't get it. It's just it's just weird okay my balance was i don't know i have to check this one because this one says four thousand three forty six sixty six this one says four thousand six hundred seventy seven dollars and seventy five cents that's what i checked my balance with um at the beginning and so now my balance is so now my balance is four thousand one hundred one dollars and seventy two cents so it's like different like discrepancies going on there. So I'm going to take my statement and I'm going to actually go through it just to check to make sure that I don't have anything that I'm missing um, to see what is going on. So so this right here is kind of like a we'll put a question mark beside that because I'm going to check to see what's going on with that one. All right. So then I have my PayPal and this one is going down. Um little by little um, so the balance now is when I checked it earlier on it was nine hundred seventy dollars and forty three cents and then um, July it was nine hundred seventy nine dollars and eighty eight cents so now when I check my balance my balance is nine hundred forty dollars and forty three cents and like I said you really have to like keep a check on this and like keep a tally of it because if you don't you'll be like what in the world the numbers just keep going back and forth up and down up and down up and down because you will pay it and you're like oh I'm getting it down within the interest rate like bam it'll come in and it'd be like whoop you know what I'm saying <laughs> like eh, like slide on in there and and it's just crazy so you that's why I this is one reason why I I'm like Tina you got to stay on keeping on track of your balances and what you've paid and your um what your your game plan is for um getting down your your debt all right and so i do want to tally up to see what my balances is um for this um amounts that i owe so we are going to actually add those up together to see what those are and then i'm going to put the total down here because i would like to know all right so we got 280 dollars plus 1385 Oh seven plus two oh six five oh one plus two thousand seven one dollars and one cents plus forty one oh one seventy two plus nine forty forty three. Okay, you girl. Whoop, whoop. Okay. All right. So I am like super excited. Okay. What? All right. All right. So. Okay. I am. Oh lord. I am excited. Okay. So let's go ahead. Okay. This is awesome. <sighs> okay breather 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 okay all right so let's go ahead and see what we have here so we are going to so i'm going to take the green marker and i'm going to do the box that i did here 
All right, so that's going to be our amount that we're going to put in. I am like super excited because this is freaking going down. Even though these are still staying here, like they're, like they say, I'm like, I'm here to stay. But it's my, my balances are going down. So I am like super excited. So I just have to keep doing what I'm doing and then just step up my game, make up like, you know, some more extra things that I need to do. So let's go ahead and um, put this mount right here. Girl, I, I am telling you guys, I am like so excited. <laughs> okay. All right. So 11 for 73.24. Okay. So let's turn it this way so you can have it all in order. Okay, guys. So the method that I've been using, like putting my cash envelopes from, um, putting the leftover cash from my cash envelopes, I put that towards debt. The coin that I save for my um, cash envelopes when I go to the store and use coin, um, they, um, oh, and let me tell you guys something. I went to Walmart today and this was crazy. So I went to go get my little son some little stuff because he's going to preschool. So I had a total and I had it saved up in his little envelope. Um, so I went to go and I was supposed to get like 64 cents change back. And she turned around and asked me to tell my son. So I gave her, um, I think I gave, it was like, whatever it was, it was, I gave her and I was supposed to get 64 cents back. So she turned around to me and talked about some, um, do you really need to get your change back? Because I don't have it in my drawer. I was like, uh, no, ma'am. I was like, I need my 64 cents because, I mean, not being petty, but the thing about it is that I take all of my coin and I put it in my coin bank and that coin, which I do need to roll it now, but this is what I do. So this is about time for me to um, actually roll it and then I will put this towards my Capital One credit card. But the thing about it was she she was like, do you really need your coin? And I'm like, uh, um, is, is she joking? Is this a serious question? So she was like, well, I don't have it in my drawer. So I was like, okay. I was like, I'll wait. Okay. So then she like walks over there like she kind of has an attitude with me. But I was like, well, it's, there's no sign right here saying, I know there's a coin store, but there was no sign on the register saying that um, this is um, uh, where you can only use your debit card. So I was like, okay. So I just waited. And then she like gave me the change back like she had attitude. And it was like, I don't know. They gave me like all dimes and nickels. And I'm like, shoot, that's cool with me because I'm just going to put it in my bank because those dimes, nickel, pennies and codes, they add up. So I was like, yeah, that was kind of weird. I don't know. But yeah, but um, I just had to tell you guys that. So um, but anyways, but I like I said, I take that and I use that towards put it towards my debt. And then like with my cash envelopes, I try to do those to the minimum that I know that I'm going to use and not give myself a lot extra. And then, um, yeah, so. Um, I started off with, like I said, I started off with 15,369.64 and then I'm going to subtract that from this and all right, so that is almost $4,000 that I've paid off. Whoop, whoop. Okay. All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So that is the total. Hope you can, can you see it? Ooh, we're going slow. We're going slow. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So that is the total that I have paid off. So I am like super hyped, super excited. So guys, so thank you so much for joining my video and um, I will be back with more budgeting videos and I cannot wait to show you guys the new budget planner for the happy planner for 2021. So I know I keep talking about it in all my videos because I am super excited. Okay, so guys, so thank you so much for joining me with this video. And like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.